Hey, Eric D, hello. The only person in here. This is my first live. I'm just checking it out. I think I'm going to do another one in a little while. I'm starting to tear this thing all apart. I got all new interior for it. A new floor. That floor is rusted out. All new seats and door panels and everything for it. New roof. New top. I'm going to start working on it here in just a little while. Got all these, all these boxes of parts. New battery, new dash pad, uh, door panels, kick panels, carpet kit, uh, insulation kit, dash pad, radio. Kick panel speakers, everything for the whole inside. Every every single part I could find for the inside of it. So I'm gonna get that done here in the next couple weekends. The top's a mess. It's oh oh it's clipped in. It's mostly duct tape. So the back seat's a wreck. Look at that radio. Nice job there. Got it running the other day. It's just got a two-speed power glide. This little 283. I was gonna put a new motor in it and a different tranny, but if this runs, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna run it like this for a while. It's gonna be slow. But I do want to paint it. It has a crunched quarter back here. The uh quarter panel got crunched and repaired just a real shoddy repair job so the trunk lines don't line up there's a huge gap right here and it's cracking and rusting i think this was the hood that the car got hit with because it's twi it's tweaked here but inside there's there's a bunch of framework in here uh the wheel well and stuff for the the top is in there and none of that got damaged so it's literally just the quarter panel anyway the point of all that is i'm going to leave that engine and tranny in until i have this painted and then i'll just pull that engine and tranny out and put a fresh one in but as for now i just want to drive it and put all the interior in it just get this running get the engine running well and leave it how it is a little one barrel carburetor It's already been converted to five lug. The guy I got it from had it since new, or his dad had it since new. And in 1965, they switched over to the five lug. So it's the five lug front end, that V8 and automatic transmissions out of the 65 Nova. And they use this, the rear end is five lug now also. So that's a good little improvement for these cars. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Start tearing this thing apart. This floor is just gone. But I got a new floor for it. Pam a camera. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. So there she is. 
So we got this poor thing sitting over here. I just need to finish up the steering. I finally got the right rack and pinion. It's there. I just have to make a new this cross member under here. I got this guy. I just got to make a new one to fit that that rack and pinion. This thing will be running. This is a brand new motor. It's a right around 400 cubic inch. Should be about 550 horsepower. And I got a uh, 700R4 that's rebuilt back in it. So it'll be able to go down the freeway at normal speeds. Okay, well, I'm going to cut this. Thank you two guys for showing up, saying hi. I'm going to go live again in probably an hour. And then I think I'm just going to prop my phone up somewhere and just start working on this thing. Um, and then I'll just check on the phone every once in a while. So give me a, give me a half hour or so, an hour. i got to move this work truck out of the way and... Just clear out around it and uh, let's start tearing into it. Okay, that's it. I'm stopping. See you guys in a little bit.